Hi, my fitness friends, it's Krista DiPaolo, and I have a 30-minute cardio and core workout that's the perfect way to reduce stress. No equipment is necessary. Let's do this. This sweat tea session is presented by Yogi. Let's get ready to shake it off. I have my girls Raven with me Hi. and Danny. Before we get you into the sweat sesh, let's get you into a little dynamic warm up. What do you say, girls? I'm ready. All right, so since it's shake off the stress, let's start with shaking it off. So go ahead, <laughs> let's do it. So you're just gonna start feeling that energy, feeling that warmth coming through your feet. Then we're hitting those knees, coming up to those hips. This is actually kind of fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> Shake out those hands, coming up to those shoulders. This is really good. And then up to your head. And you're gonna see this all throughout the workout, right? So you wanna feel good. All right, bring those legs nice and wide. We're gonna start with some arm right here. Shoulder rolls, perfect. Opening up those shoulders, stay nice and loose in that lower body. So your knees are soft, your abs are tight. Perfect, how's four more? Here's four, three, two. We're gonna isolate these arms right here. So big arm swings to the back of the room, perfect. So now we're not just opening up those shoulders, but what are we doing? We're opening up that chest, perfect. Here's four, three, two, and one. We're gonna take it to a high plank. So let's just bring it back just a little bit. Legs are nice and wide. We're gonna walk it out to a high plank position. Now we're gonna do a contralateral reach, which is just a fancy name for, touch that opposite foot. There you go, <laughs> other side. I know, right? And you're gonna walk it back, stand up and repeat, all right? So what I want you to do when you hinge forward, feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Ooh, Ooh I feel it. There you go, right? <laughs> Let's get ready to work. This is seriously gonna be really fun. Touch it, pike those hips up, abs are nice and tight, and then walk it up. Now you have an option for right here, a little plyo. And the Raven does not have to do that. Let's do two more. Feel that stretch. Shoulders stacked underneath your wrist. It feels good, right? Yes. yes. Wait till you see what I have, what we have on deck for you. <laughs> awesome. All right. <laughs> Last one. Now, after the reach, I want you to stay in that high plank position. So let's go ahead and stay in that high plank. Bring your feet hip distance apart. What we're gonna do, we're gonna give me a runner's lunge, a little chest opener at the top, you're gonna bring your hands back down. Let's push into a downward dog. Doesn't that feel nice? Other side. So what we're doing, we're opening up our hips. We're opening up that chest, stacking those shoulder blades, and then feeling that stretch in the back side of your body. Yeah. Doesn't that feel good? Really good? This is nice. This is, seriously, the easiest thing we're gonna do all day long. <laughs> Enjoy this. <laughs> all right, let's do one more on each side. So go ahead, lunge opening up those hips, opening up that chest, and then stretching out those hamstrings. One more. We're gonna need this. We are going to need this for sure. <laughs> now, so I want you to hold your downward dog. Let's go ahead and add some alternating calf raises right here. Perfect. You wanna melt those heels into the ground, lengthen through the spine, give me four, three, two, and one. Now let's bring our feet up to our hands, slowly roll it up. Perfect, now, let's do a little air jump rope. Why not? Nice and light on those feet. This is a great way to get that heart rate up, right? Yes. And get those lungs activated. Let's right here add some butt kicks to the mix. So we're nice and, we're getting loose in our quads, right? Driving those heels up into your glutes, landing softly. And again, Raven, she's taking out that little jump. All right, girls, you ready for some high knees? Oh yeah. Let's do it. Bring up those knees. Give me four, three, two, and one. We're warm. Woo, yes. We're so warm. Oh, warm. Okay. <laughs> to keep that heart rate up, let's continue shaking it out, right? Woo. So shake it off, shake, shake it out. It off. I just want to give you a really quick overview of what we're up to, right? Woo. So I have six high intensity core based exercises for you that we'll perform for 60 seconds. You'll have a quick 15 second shake it off transition. I promise you'll need that. We're gonna do three rounds and I'll give you a one minute recovery in between. Sound good? Sounds good. Welcome to round one. <laughs> All right, so on deck, you're gonna bring your legs nice and wide. We have a squat thrust with two oblique crunches. Are we ready? Yes. Let's get ready to do this in three, two, one. Let's go. 60 seconds on the clock, squat thrust. Bring it up. Now I want you to keep your legs engaged. Reach, back is tall, abs are tight. So you wanna think about landing softly right here and then staying nice and low. Take a look at Raven. She can omit that jump and walk her feet out. She's still working everything. So this is such a great full body workout right here. So we're activating your shoulders, activating your core. 
right? Especially those obliques here, back as tall abs are tight. And we're also keeping your legs engaged. Do you feel that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, we feel it. <laughs> and as you see, we're taking it at a nice, comfortable, slow pace. There's absolutely no need to go any faster unless you're feeling really, really advanced. You can always play with tempo. We have 10 seconds. I did not forget Woo! about you. How are we feeling? I is this good? Oh, yes. yeah. I feel activated. <laughs> <laughs> activated is a nice word for it. I'm already tired. Here we go. Last one. Yes. Right. Shake it out. Shake it out. OK, are you ready? Woo! This is craziness. I'm grateful for that warm-up. Yes. <laughs> Reverse burpees. You're welcome in advance. We're going to stand to the side. Raven's going to do a modified regular burpee. And three, two, one. Let's go. Hands are going to guide you down. Focus on your core here. Option for that plyo. Feet are hip distance apart. Take it nice and smooth, right? Perfect. So again, this is great for the core and it's great to get that cardio and work those lungs. Take your time with it. I know sometimes it can feel a little scary going backwards, right? Yeah. But you can do what Raven's doing, which is fine. And once you feel good, you can build up to this. Now, if you're feeling really advanced, I'm not doing it, Danny. I don't know. Are you going for it? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to use your hand on the way down or the way up. I have a feeling, no, I will not be able to get back up. I have to do you. You're not alone. <laughs> I know. I'm like, no, not today. <laughs> nice and light on that landing. We have five seconds. Let's just get in. What do you say? Last one? Woo! This is it. Woo! Shake it out. Woo! Oh my gosh, I'm loving these shake it off transitions. Woo! We have yogi push ups. Are we ready? Yeah. We're so ready. Let's transition. <laughs> High plank position. Again, shoulders stacked underneath your wrist. Your hips are down, your abs are tight. And three, two, and one. Let's go. Single push up. Now it's yogi push up. You're going into that downward dog. And again, Raven is performing the push up on her knees. So, what I want you to do always shoulders stacked underneath your wrist, chest connects to the ground, and then push it back. You want to think about exhaling on the hardest part of the workout, which is what? Everything. The push-up. <laughs> the Everything. That was the best answer ever. <laughs> Everything. Oh my gosh. This workout is so much fun. We, I love that. And we talk Ooh. about stress relief, right? Working out is the best stress relief. Oh, definitely. Isn't it? Oh, you feel grounded. Yeah. I know. You feel grounded. It totally clears your head. And guess what? It should be fun. You see we're laughing, we're having a time, even though it's hard as heck, but we're having fun with it. Yes. On that downward dog, that's your little stretch right there. So really sink into those heels. How's one more? Beautiful, shake it off. Oh, oh my gosh. We're staying on the ground. So stay here. All right, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Probably those shoulders need it. We're setting up into a reverse table. Actually, let's set you up from the side right here. Pop those hips up. Feet hip distance apart, we'll do the first two very slowly. You're gonna reach, so it's a reverse table reach, and then we're going back to that fancy contralateral hand to foot touch, which means touch your opposite yeah. foot. And then reach, and then touch. All right, we can just pick up the pace slightly. Now Ooh. take a look at Raven. She's even omitting that touch. She can just kick her foot up. We're really focusing on what? The rotation, so why do we do that? We wanna fire up that entire core. Now notice, our fingers are pointing away from us. Slightest bend in the elbows. That'll take any unwanted pressure off your joints. You can always pick up the pace to add that little layer of intensity, but I'm warning you now, I'm just giving you a heads up. <laughs> take your time with this. <laughs> we have some progressions in your near future. Perfect, so rotate. I also want you to explode through those hips, 10 seconds left. So we're also, guess what? We're hitting your triceps. You're so welcome. I have no balance. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting okay. which foot goes when. <laughs> <That's one. laughs> Don't mind me. Perfect. All right, shake it off. Good. I know that one does require a little bit of balance. Keeping it real back. <laughs> <laughs> we like it. We like All right. It. <laughs> let's see how your balance is on this one. Lateral donkey kicks. Let's set you up. Static beast, let's go. The clock is already running. We're driving those heels up into your glutes. Raven stepping it side to side. Whoa. Okay, Danny and Raven are gonna keep doing this. I wanna set you up for success. Form is everything. Some ladies are still going. Thank you. So we're gonna, when you set up, shoulders always stacked underneath your wrist. Now, the most important one on this, hips are underneath your knees. 
knees are slightly hovering, and your abs are pulled into your spine, head is neutral with your spine. Then you can start performing the lateral donkey case. Do you like how I just bought myself a break? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say that. I have to cue you. you. <laughs> <laughs> the girls were, had their heads together, they were rolling their eyes. I saw them, <laughs> I saw them through the back of my head. Keep it going, oh my gosh. But I really, I did have to cue that, it was very important. Five seconds on the clock. Are you feeling your quads? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I just started definitely. This. Okay, done. All right, <sighs> shake it off. <sighs> I'm gonna okay. shake off after that This one. is crazy, all right. Here we go, we're bringing it back up. We're gonna work each side. We have a little lunge combo. We're gonna start on this side. It does not matter at home which side you start with. So here we go, lateral lunge with the reach. Now, we'll do the first one really slow. Bring that same foot back, reverse lunge, that's it. Lateral lunge, sink into those hips, open up that chest, back's tall, abs tight. This is all for your lower half, you're welcome. I like this, a good I one. know, this is nice, right? <laughs> it up. Let's pick it up just a little bit. Give me a breather. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You think this is a just breather, a just no. wait. <laughs> She's kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. No, it's true. We did so much advanced stuff. This is last one, last one. All right, let's switch to the other side. Here we go. Even it out, reach and touch, and then lunge. Perfect. So, this entire workout, it's full body. Of course, you've seen a lot of core-centric exercises. That's what we wanted to do. And of course, you're very fun. Shake off rest periods. You're like, that is not a rest period for 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Keep it going. Perfect. How about one more? Let's just do one more. One more. One more. Uh, one, more. Always one, <laughs> more. one more. One more. One more. Always one more rep. I have one Shake more it off. How are we feeling? Good, good. Can you shake it out? I know, shake out those arms, shake out those legs. Guess what? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> One minute breather. Awesome. Take a big breath in, exhalation through your mouth. So whatever you need to do, towel it off, shake it off, drink it off, whatever you need to do. So I just want to explain what round two is about. Now we're adding progressions. You're a pro. You've mastered the moves. We're gonna add a little layer of intensity just to make them a little bit harder. I can barely say it. <laughs> so, We're working. Yeah. I don't know why this was a good idea, but it is. So you always wanna have a challenge, right? And we talk about stress relief, and I think the harder it is, the more that you focus, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, you focus on what you're doing. So wanted to give you a great challenge. So feel free to either follow Raven's modifications or you can do exactly what we just did in round one. You completely know. Are we ready? So, yeah. All right. <laughs> Welcome to round two. Ding, Let's ding. go. This time we're taking it to a single arm squat thrust. Ooh, in baby. three, two, one. one. <laughs> You're gonna stay where you are. Yeah. Single arm squat thrust. Keep it low, keep it engaged. Reach. Oh yeah. Now, make sure you use that opposite arm. Whatever arm you start with, use the other one. Nice. Now this is really, so great for the core because why? We're unstable, right? So you're working a little bit harder to keep that stabilization. So take it nice and slow, 30 more seconds. We're halfway there. And again, if you're feeling advanced, you know you can play with tempo. How are we doing? Yeah. Yes? Still yes. breathing. Still breathing. Yes. We're still moving. Still alive. <laughs> so you have your shoulders, your core, I love it, full body obliques. Full and body. oh my gosh, the legs. Woo. The legs staying engaged is absolutely bananas. Yes. It's bananas. Five seconds. Oh my gosh. Baby. Do we need to speed up so we can get in one more on each side? Let's do it. Because I don't want to miss our shake it out. Be shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake, shake it out. out. Yes, we made I don't it. want to cheat you of your shake it off <laughs> sessions here. All right. Up next, we have your reverse burpees. We're adding a knee tuck. Woo. You're welcome. Let's do this. <laughs> and Raven, you don't have to do yours. Here we go, okay. three, two, and one. Guide yourself down, focus on the core. Here we go, knee tuck. Holy, holy heck. <laughs> oh my gosh. What am I gonna do after this workout? Ooh. I don't know about you two. I'm going to eat, eat. <laughs> I'm going to have a relaxing yogi tea, and I'm going to bed. Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I'm we doing deserve all that. After I shake it off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> On your knee top. Great way. Nice big plyo. Get that blood pumping. Drive those knees up into your chest. What's the most important thing? I want you to engage your core. I want you to land softly. And again, this is something you can work up to. 
I know this is a bit advanced, and I know you're secretly obsessed with burpees, aren't you? Oh yeah. Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer. How's two more? Oh two my gosh. More. It's Perfect. like you've been doing this for 20 minutes. Last one. Let's do it. You do it. You do it. Oh yeah. Last Give it one. Here we go. Woo. We got it, ladies. Woo. Shake it off. Shake it off. Oh my gosh, shake it off. <laughs> All right. If you thought your yogi push-ups couldn't be any harder, today is your day. Let's go. We're adding a pipe push-up to the mix. And let's get into it. Push-up. Here we go. Downward dog. Now hold it here. Pike push up. Now this is extremely advanced. I don't want you to compromise your form just to do it or your joints. So take a look at Danny. She can even bring her knees down when performing that pike push up. Perfect, chest connects to the ground. Exhalation, melt your heels into the mat. And then you want to try and focus on bringing your head to the mat, staying in that perfect pike position, holy triceps. Oh my gosh. Now, I didn't mention, I like to do tricep push-ups for me. They just set up the downward dog a lot easier. Feel free to do wide grip. Oops, I think I just forgot the pike because I was talking. <laughs> gotcha. My mouth gets in the way all the time. <laughs> Sorry, you know what to do. But, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying, but yeah, you want to, oh, so if you're doing the wide grip, you just have to reset. Okay, that was the last one. Shake it off. Oh, oh, baby. Oh my yeah. gosh, the sweat went into my brain for like <laughs> 2.5 seconds, but I'm back with you. Let's go and uh, transition into that reverse table. Okay. All right, here we go. Pop those hips up. We're adding four core kicks to the mix. Woo. Here we go. <laughs> yes. All right, so you want to reach across that body. Follow Raven for that modification. I'm going really slowly. We're going to bring that foot down now. You're going to do four core kicks with that same leg. All about the abs, other side. Reach. Touch. Now that same foot that you're kicking with, bring it down, and that's the foot you start with. Just to make things easier. Let's pick it up just a little bit. So reach, full rotation, touch. Here's four, three, two, one. Nice and light on the landing. Focus on the rotation. Explode through the hips to hit your triceps. And then all about your core and your Woo. arms. You're welcome. Reach Woo. and touch. This, you can really feel it in the triceps and of course your core. You can always pick up the range of motion and pick up your pace. How are we feeling? Okay. Yeah? You weren't this broken when you said intense. Little coordination yeah. on this one. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of coordination. <laughs> You'll be a pro by round three. Last one. For this is it. Last one. For those Reach. not coordinated. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. You both are doing amazing. Ooh. You're doing amazing. Yes. Shake it out. Okay. Lateral donkey kicks. Ooh. Hard enough, but you're up for a challenge. We're adding a shoulder tap, just one single shoulder tap. Let's set you up in that perfect dynamic beast. Prop those hips up. So, donkey kick, if you go right, touch right. If you go left, touch left, all right? Raven, you can omit the shoulder tap altogether and continue walking it. Okay. So once you build up that shoulder strength, then go ahead and give it a try. Nice and light on the landing, driving your heels softly up into your glutes. The shoulder tap, just a little added core movement just to so make your fun. life so much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> to make Danny's life so much more fun. <laughs> You're also feeling this in your legs as well, right? Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, Everywhere. oh my gosh, everything. <laughs> you wanna focus on pulling your abs into your spine. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling it everywhere. I know the girls are feeling it everywhere. I know you at home, you're feeling it everywhere. Two more. Hard to Two more. On this one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it off, especially those like, We're picking it up. Here we go. Well, we're doing well, aren't we? Oh, yeah. All right. This time we're adding a plyo to the mix. So after you perform your reverse lunge, additional or optional plyo. Here we go. We started with this leg first. Let's hit it. Reach and lunge. Bring it back. I want to see that nice big plyo. Ooh, isn't this nice? Oh, yeah. This is nice. I want you to land softly, <laughs> keeping everything tight. There we go. Nice big reverse lunge. If you think about that range of motion, we're here to motivate you. But of course, you are your best coach, and you know what feels comfortable for your body. One more on this side. Whew. Okay, this does somewhat feel like a breather compared to everything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm with nice you. Breather. I'm with you. Lunge and reach. 
reverse lunge, and plyo. Where does the time go? Right, it's Ooh, fast. Whoa. You are almost at your one minute recovery. It is flying by. These working out should be fun. Yes. You should look forward to workouts. <laughs> and when they're fun, it goes really quickly. Amen. You're like, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was it. That was it. Last Turn one. Speak. Take this one minute recovery. Do what you need to do. I know we are all sweating this. Yes. Take a sip of water. I know I am. This is real sweat. And yeah. <laughs> this is real. From a real yes, we did not get hosed down. This is real sweat. All right, so just a little overview on what to expect for round three. It's exactly like round two. So it's great. Now we are really a bunch of pros. So now you can really take those 15 second, shake it off. You can really milk them, right? Yes. Okay, I am taking a sip of water before we do this. We told you the warm up was going to be amazing. <laughs> you knew. You knew she this was going to be right. What she said in tune. And this is it. So we're going to get started yeah. in about 10 seconds. Whew. So you're a bunch of pros. You know it. Feel free to go back to the modified version. Listen to your body. It's all okay, right? We're in this together. Up first, welcome to round three. Here we go. <laughs> Single arm squat thrust. And you have that oblique crunch. Perfect. Stay low. So you now know exactly what to do. So if you even feel like you're all right, I have this, you can pick up the pace just slightly. Whew. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. And also just make sure that you're utilizing that opposite hand just so we can balance it out. Perfect, stay tall through the spine, I know. Sometimes when I'm queuing, I don't know which hand I'm using. So you know what you're doing at home. Don't always follow me. Follow the girls. <laughs> Trust your gut. <laughs> Keep it up. Stay with it. We have about 15 seconds left. Nice and light on those feet. Now, I know you're starting to feel fatigued. We're feeling it because we're doing it with you. That's when we need you to push a little harder, right? Work a little bit more, squat a little bit deeper. Let's do one more. That's it. Last one. Last one. And. Ooh. Shake oh. it off. Oh my gosh. You're crazy. Feeling it. My legs. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. This is so needed. I'm just going to do this right out the door. All right. Let's set you up. Reverse burpees. Woo. Let's go. All right. Hit it. Nice and light. You know what to do. Add that option for the knee tuck. So I really love the name of this workout, right? Shake it off, shake off that stress. Because the best stress relief really in town is what? It's Work, working out, working right? Working out, moving your body. Moving yeah. your body, <laughs> getting those endorphins going. And everyone in life has stress. Otherwise, you are not human, correct? <laughs> and I, I know for me personally, I've suffered from anxiety and panic attacks for well over 10 years. And guess what has saved me, and I'm not kidding, is moving and working out. So when you're feeling it, you're feeling overwhelmed, hit play. We have you. Have yes. one more. Yes. <laughs> Last one. Yeah. Last one. All right. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh my gosh. Woo. My tuck jumps at the end were like, I know. Baby tuck jumps. I was like, I don't know if these are very pretty anymore, <laughs> but they're happening. All right. After you're done shaking it off, my mat is showing the sweat. Here we go. We're going back to your yogi push-ups. Okay. Welcome. Please get me. Yes. Let's do it. Here we go. Give me a push-up, downward dog. Now, unlike like I did, add that pipe push-up right there. Reset. If you want to bring your leg arms wide, I'll show you that way, just in case, because sometimes that feels better for other people. Wide grip push-up. Make sure to stack your arms for your downward dog. I almost forgot the pike push-up again. Oh my God. <laughs> I think my body's like, you're not doing this anymore. <laughs> so what are we feeling? I am secretly obsessed. Anyone who knows my workouts, I love push-ups. They are so effective. Mm -hmm. You can do them anywhere. And there's a zillion kind of push-ups you can do. These are like hardcore yogi push-ups. <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> they work. They're effective. This one's giving you an extra tricep right there. Look the girls for any modification that you need. Last one, what do you say? Oh, yes. yeah. You're so with Woo. me. Yes. Last one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Shake it out down here. Shake out those shoulders. 
Those are crazy. I did a lot of pike push-ups in that one. I did not forget this time, so that was really hard. <laughs> We're transitioning to your reverse table touch and reach with your four quarter kicks. Okay. Let's go. Nothing. Feet hip distance apart. You know what to do. Reach, touch that same foot. Four, three, two, one. Pull your abs into your spine. Full rotation, fire up that entire core. Explode through the hips to hit those triceps. Now, any reason you need to dial it down, dial it down, it's fine. And then come right back to it, right? Yes. Working out does not need to be perfect. Judgment-free zone. <laughs> you're still working, <laughs> you're still kicking, you're still rotating. Unless you're with friends, they might get <laughs> True, <laughs> right? More fun. They hold you accountable. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going. Reach, touch. Kick it, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, help me, help me, Yes. help me, help me. Like we said, this is when we need you to kick a little higher, Ooh, a little harder. Giving it a little extra You're energy. You're feeling it, yes. give it a little extra spice. <laughs> Last one, on each side. Woo. Oh yeah. Okay, right. side. this is it, this is it, this is it. We can't not. Woo! Shake it off. Woo. I like how right. I got that on the last round. Feel your pulse. <laughs> <laughs> it takes time, I know. By round three, that's what I was saying. You're a bunch of pros. Oh my gosh. Donkey kicks. Lateral donkey kicks. All right. Let's go. Literally Set up. Butt. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. These are the butt kickers. For real. I love that. We're renaming these lateral donkey kicks to freaking butt kickers. You're awesome. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. <laughs> now, as you're kicking, <laughs> I love this. As you are kicking your butt, thank you, Danny, you're landing softly and you're softly kicking your butt, right? Driving those heels softly into your glutes and you're adding that extra shoulder tap. Keep it going. Ooh, feeling it. Everywhere. Remember, find myself a little break. Remember, this is where you need to start. This is actually so important. Those hips need to be hovering right underneath your knees. Okay, I love when I do that, this is exciting. <laughs> Thank you. At least I call myself out on it. <laughs> I try to be incognito, but I know you can see right through that. <laughs> All right. You're Jim, you can do it. <laughs> Two more. These amazing butt, literal butt kickers, last one. Shake it out, oh my gosh. Sweat is now dripping and burning <sighs> into my eyeballs. Yeah. So much sweat. So much sweat. Okay, we're bringing it up. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's Woo. do this. Let's bring round three home. Oh, baby. Woo hoo hoo. All okay, right. here we go. Let's hit it. Lateral lunge. We're adding that plyo. Let's go. Woo. Landing softly. Oh my gosh, I know. Tall through the spine. Abs are braced. Perfect. Lunge and reach. And if you're thinking, oh, after all of that, we need a little harder. Pick up that tempo. Pick up that tempo. <laughs> Keep it up. How's one more? Yes. Yeah. One more. And let's balance this out. Woo. Never forget to balance <laughs> on the other side. I'll forget your pike push ups any day of the week, but <laughs> not these. We appreciate that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I've completely lost my balance. There you go. You want to make sure you keep your weight directly underneath those hips. Nice, big, powerful lunge. Activating your glutes, your quads, your hands. There is a method to the madness. Oh my gosh, one more. Woo. Oh my gosh, one more. I'm losing my Woo. balance. I got this it. Work. Work. Oh, we did it. We did it. <laughs> what? That was cool. Yes. Raven. Oh, so Woo. Danny. Danny. <laughs> so good. Check, your, check your pulse. All right. Check my sweat. My we check our sweat. <laughs> so we just, we did your shake off, right? Now, let's cool you down. Woo. Let's do it. Yes, please. All right. All right. <laughs> let's finish off this amazing practice. You are so amazing. Woo. Three big breaths in. Big breath through the nose, exhalation through the mouth. Let's do two more of those. You deserve these big breaths because you are fantastic. This workout was not easy and you did it. You push play for a challenge, you did it. All right, bring those feet in, clasp your hands behind your back. Let's open up that chest. As you do that, release that chin. Feel the front side of your body opening. Ooh, hinge it forward. Ooh. I can barely breathe right there. Okay. <laughs> hinge it forward. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Once you get all the way down there, drop your hands. Now, ladies, we're gonna take it, and at home, we're gonna bring it over into this lateral lunge. Yeah. That feels so good. You should feel that stretch in the hamstring. Try to keep that heel planted on the ground. Now, we're gonna bring it runner's lunge. Oh, yeah. Now, I want you to bring your runner's lunge. Let's place that foot back. 
for a high plank. Oh boy, you're not out of the woods yet. This is your <laughs> bonus core. Oh, I stuck it in four traveling planks. You're gonna stay in that high plank just okay. like how you are. Here we go, bring it down, down, up, up, other elbow. Keep your abs pulled into your spine. Woo. Two more, yes, perfect plank position. Last one. Oh my gosh, I snuck it in. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that was so sneaky. All right, let's push into a downward dog. Melt those heels into the ground. They're about hip distance apart. Feel the length in your spine. Now bring it back to your high plank. Are you ready for this? We're going for a chaturanga. And I'm going to make all my yogi friends so proud. <laughs> I want you to think about melting your shoulder blades together. Stay in that perfect plank position. Now when you come down, I want you to think about coming forward. Lengthening forward, elbows close to your body, nice and slow. Now flip your toes over, upward facing dog. That, I'm seriously now sweating even more than Definitely. I was before. That was no Let's joke. do that one more time. Curl your toes over, push into that downward facing dog. Melt your heels into the ground, tall through the spine, back into your high plank. Melt your shoulder blades together. Tuck your hips under, abs are pulled in. Coming down forward, chaturanga forward, nice and slowly, slowly, slowly. And then go ahead, flip your feet, your toes, upward facing dog. Oh my gosh, the sweat is <laughs> rolling into my eyeballs. <laughs> okay, push back into that high plank. Now, that rear leg is gonna come back to your lunge, lateral lunge. Let's go ahead and do it to the other side. Baby. Here we go, Ooh. feel Ooh. that stretch, feel that stretch. Turn it, open up that hip, and then bring it into a high plank. Traveling plank, you're welcome. Let's go. Oh, down, down. Um, I could not forget about these. <laughs> Off the and elbow. Oh my gosh, abs are nice and tight. Take your time with it. You're like, I thought we were cooling down. You are a terrible, terrible person. <laughs> Muscle confusion. You signed up for a challenge. Down or dog. Push into those heels. Push your head through your hands. High plank. Sink into your shoulder blades. Chaturanga, let's go. Lean it forward, lean it forward. Okay, flip your toes. Upward facing dog, feel that stretch in your upper body. How does that feel? I don't know and how you talked through that. I was like halfway there. <laughs> I don't I either. Like, I don't know man. what's going on. Check your toes. And your yogi. One yeah. more. Okay, I, love I have so much respect for yogis. Their practice <laughs> is so hard. I have some amazing, really close yoga friends. And I've tried to learn from them through the years. All right, shoulder blades sink into them, melt. Chaturanga one more time. Take your time, elbows tight to the body, abs are tight. Flip your toes one more time. Upwards. That's that's where I stopped halfway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back to your high plank. We're gonna go back just like how we started. Lunge, lateral lunge, Woo! towel off. Bring your weight to the middle. Slowly roll it up. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. All right, once you come up to standing, bring your feet together. We're gonna do three final breaths, all together, Ooh. all of us, as a yes. team. With your right arm, give me a big <laughs> breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now I want you to hold your hand out there and I want you to say out loud and repeat after us. I am strong. I, I am, am strong. strong. Yes, you are. <laughs> bring it into your body, other side. Big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Leave your hand out there, repeat after me. I am confident. I am confident. Yes, you are. Bring it into your body. <laughs> One final breath. Here we go. Big breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Exhalation. Bring your hands. Hold them out there. Repeat after me. I am capable of absolutely anything. I am capable of absolutely anything. And yes, you are. Bring it to your heart center. You are amazing. Yay. Woo! We did it. We should <laughs> have that stress. Took off all the stress. Right? Yes. So there should be <laughs> no stress. A lot of sweat. A lot of we sweat. Made it. Thank you. <laughs>